Do you want to look fabulous and be fabulous? Okay, Pharrell, some people asked for me to post videos of how I get ready. I am just did a little makeup. Let's get ready. I already squirted this in my hand. First, we apply sunblock because as you can see, I have way too many freckles. Oh my gosh. I wish I used sunblock when I was younger. So now I just wear it every day. Primer, always use primer. I use a thirst quenching one. Thirst trap, quench, hydrating. Yes, I like hydration. Or I like it on my neck too. It feels good, it's kind of cooling. I mean, I, I tend to bring my lotion down so I automatically bring my um, primer down. So I'm gonna try this one for fun. It's Estee Lauder Foundation. They gave me a sample. Let's see how that one looks. I'm gonna get my hand it. You wet it because other people tell you to wet it. Can't tell you why. Oh, wait, I'm gonna use a sample. Let's see, it's kind of dark, but I still have like a lot of tanner on. So, ooh, so soft and velvety. Let's see. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, I don't want to waste it. There we go. That's gonna be okay on the color. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Good for when I have tan on. Oh my gosh, I put too much. I, I bought Makeup Forever because a lot of vloggers um, talk about that one. But the girl at Sephora said this one, this one lasts longer, they say. The Estee Lauder. The Makeup Forever photographs better. And I was like, photographs better last longer. I was like, let's go for photographs. So we'll see how this one holds up today. Definitely, I think, covers my freckles more than the other one. Get some bronzer. Guys, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I just kind of copy what everyone else is doing. That was a little wide, but whatever. I don't know. I'm kind of just rough with it because I don't want to, like, take time to blend it. Just, like, kind of scrape it around. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not a beauty person anyways. I mean, I love beauty, but I'm not a professional. Estee Lauder setting powder to take away the shine. And since I'm not the biggest beauty person, I'm so proud of myself doing my makeup for the showcase. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But it turned out great. As great as it could be. Because my normal is to use my bronzer I have like five different bronzers. I haven't found the perfect one, but I'll probably, I'll usually just put bronzer in my, right here. Just with like a fluffy brush first. And then to make it a little more defined, I'll use this brush. And you could get it a little darker. And you could go a little bit more on the creases right here. Add some definition if that's what it's doing, not sure, but it looks better to me. Here's another bronzer, and I like this one under my eye, I think. Well, I only used it once. Yep, just use a bunch of bronzers. Obviously, this is too dark, I still need to blend it, but just getting this on my face. There we go. Now, remember how we took away shine with that setting powder? Confusing. Now we add shine. Not sure why this makeup roll is there, but I like it on my nose. A little bit on my, what do you call this? A cupid's bow? Is that true or no? Who cares? Put it above your lip. And... Where's my cool brush? Oh. I use this one for the bronzer, blush, and even this, because whatever. It's all good. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that shiny enough? Oh yeah, that's shiny enough. Okay, and a long time ago on my Instagram, I asked how I get my arch to go away. Cause look at how high that goes. And I feel like the straight eyebrows were super in and I wanted to get straighter eyebrows, but then everyone was like, don't do that. So now I try and just like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can do it on camera, but fill in this part a little bit. So it looks less arched. I gotta do it over there. Forgot to say that I'm gonna teach you guys the greatest trick in the book. This is my best trick in the book. Now, where's that brush? Christina Michelle, what did you do with it? Ay, ay, ay. Three things you need when you're gonna do your winged eyeliner. Q-tip for when you mess up. The eyebrow pencil. And this thin little brush. Not really sure what it's for, but I, who says eyeliner? Look at that, so smart. Let's go. So I use this eyebrow stuff because it comes off so easily. So if you mess up, you can just take it off. Well, if I use my eyeliner and I mess up, it ruins all my makeup. So I know people do their eyeliner and eyeshadow before their foundation, but I don't like doing that. I just like getting everything on, then doing it, boom, boom, boom. That's just the order I like to do it in. I've tried it the other ways and I don't do very well. So this is what works for me. I kind of just like scrape it in here. Make sure you don't have too much. And I go at the corner right here and I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera. Wait, but let me show you where I do it, like right here, hold on. So my eyeliner is not done yet, but I pretty much laid out the outline of what I need to do with my eyeliner. It's so light, lightly placed. You don't have to go in all dark. I didn't need this today. But usually if you do use this, it doesn't take off the makeup underneath or smudge too much. Wow, eyeliner will definitely F it up. So I've been feeling my brown eyeliner lately. So I'm gonna use a brown one. Looks a little more natural. And sometimes for nighttime, I'll add this black one. Oh, what eyeliner is this? Oh, Benefit. I, this is my favorite eyeliner by far. I've tried so many and this one just goes on smoothly. Has a really good point. Whoa. Oh, is that why you guys use your hand? Because when I did this, you can't really see the point. That's interesting, look at that. So it doesn't look great, but it looks okay. And I'm okay with that. Because it'll look better when I get my eyeshadow on. Mascara. This works wonders. A primer. Then go in with your mascara. One two, boom. What a difference. And I wouldn't let the primer dry because it goes on better if you put the curl, then put the primer on and this right away. One time I had to go pee and regretted it because then my lashes kind of got, I feel like they were like a little bit more stuck together rather than spread out. Mm -hmm. Going in my under eye with this, but sometimes if it gets too clumpy, you gotta get it off. Thanks for getting ready with me, guys. That was a more makeup, not too basic, but basic. Like basic items, I guess, but you still put a lot on, so it's full coverage. I have faster, easier ways to get a little makeup look, but I mean, I'm going to dance, so I wanna look pretty. Trying this for the first time for my lips. I like their Glow Lip Gloss, and this one is Dior Addict Lip Glow, Coral. Never tried it before. Let's see how it looks. Uh, I think it's, oh. Mm. I don't know. Hmm, oh, hey, oh, okay. 
because I don't really wear lipstick to dance or anything. I'll usually just throw on some lip gloss, but this gave me a nice natural color. Oh, I've been wanting something like that. I've seen like the ones where you put it on and it kind of enhances your lip color, but I don't know. I don't care for those. They look a little more pinky red, almost like what? I don't know. Pinky red. I don't like it. This is good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Dior is kind of more expensive, of course, but thanks for getting ready with me. I'm not sure I'm gonna do my hair. Just leave it like this, because I usually put it up anyways for Dan. Seriously, I love that lip glow. Ooh, I'm so happy. Let's see if this new foundation lasts. I've got to go. See you next time.